Good morning, modern steaders. You see that? The pasture pig mobile is not parked there anymore. <laughs> we moved that yesterday, guys. Not sure if the pigs slept in it last night, but no, they didn't. Good morning, pigs. Why didn't you sleep in the pasture pig mobile, eh? I'm gonna feed you down here. They haven't come down this far yet, guys. They won't go past the PPM. Well, they still got feed in their dish. Pigs are very smart and cautious animals. I might have parked the PPM a little too close to this side of the fence, but we just want to get them used to it for now, and then we're going to move it to a bigger area. The crazy white chicken's gonna eat all your grain on you there, Mr. Pork. I'm always surprised how cautious pigs are. It's a good thing, but you just wouldn't think pigs would be. You kiddos coming out, come on out. They're like, nope, <laughs> we're still napping. <laughs> they don't wanna get out of bed yet. It's gonna be a good day today to work on the barn some more, guys. Oh, I can't wait. Good morning, girls. Wanna smell felfa? I know you do. I don't even know why I ask anymore. Hope wants it so bad, she's gotta jump right in the feeder. There you kiddos go. Morning little man. Little pea and magnolia. Guess if you're coming in on your own, you're ready to get milk. Is that what that means, huh? Now the milk's flowing, guys. There we go. Our friend and fellow YouTuber, Andrew, his channel name is Flair. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Made our $30 chicken tractor the other day. It did an awesome job, guys. You need to go over there, show him some love, and let him know what kind of chickens he should get to put inside the new chicken tractor. I'm thinking he should get some Cornish cross meat birds, like the ones we just butchered the other day. What do you think? A good amount of milk there, guys, this morning. Nice. Good girl, Willow. Good girl. There you kiddos go. Go see Mom Magnolia. We got a good amount of milk this morning. Thank you, Willow. If you're ready, I'm gonna let the other goats in, Willow. You all done? Okay. You're being a good mama, Willow. Morning, ducks. CWC, I see you made your way over here already. Let's see what Tanner and Figaro are up to. If you're new to the channel, this is one of your first videos watching. Thank you. If you have not already subscribed, now would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. We're building a post and beam barn kit from JamaicaCottageShop.com. 
I'll have a link in the description down below for the promo code. And if you use the promo code, you'll get 10% off your order until the end of June 2019. We're building the single bay garage post and beam kit. And then we're going to be building two Eve overhangs. We got the 16 by 30 main building, and then the Eve overhangs are 8 by 30. One of the reasons I chose this kit is the size of it and the dimension of the lumber is manageable for one person to build. So today, my plan is to put up these posts, the top posts, the back ones, and hopefully get our way onto the front and get all this put in. So we need to find these posts, this post, and all these other posts. I give you a nice color copy, but I keep them in the house and I make a black and white copy on our computer. This way, if they get wet or damaged, I still have the good ones inside. All the parts are labeled. And it's looking like we need these 4x4 posts. We're going to offload the roof rafters and get them down below. And then we can get the 4x4s down there also. And then we're going to be getting to our 4x4 posts that we need today. Thought this was pretty nice. They crowned the boards and wrote what side the crown was on. This is a 9600, which is one of the top 4x4s we'll need. Marked with layout. <clears throat> This is an 8612, one of the upright posts. This one with that notch on it, I don't know if you can see that or not, that's going to be by the garage door. This load strapped up and we'll bring this down below, offload it, and we'll come back for the last of our posts. Bugs are out a little fierce this morning. Alright, that should hold the load in place. Man down. Not too bad though. First time we lost something off the trailer. Now she's got some nice tire marks on her. I'll have some nice battle wounds. When I'm offloading everything here, I'm trying to make sure it's in an area that I'm not going to be tripping over it. And I'm also trying to keep it organized as like roof rafters together, strapping together. But while I'm doing that, I'm also trying to figure out when I'm going to need each piece during the project. So I'm not burying one on the other and I'll need that one beforehand. So I'm trying to take some time, think, so it'll help the whole rest of the build go nice and smoothly.
taken me a little bit longer to organize everything than I hoped it would, but that being said, I'm trying to keep everything organized so that way when we go to stop building, we're not searching for stuff. And if we are searching for stuff, it's in a small area. I feel that if we keep everything organized in a nice area, the building process will go fairly quickly. It's just getting to that stage. <sighs> All these four by four posts, I'm gonna leave on the trailer. Whatever we don't get to today, I'll just leave them right on here and then that way tomorrow, we'll be ready to go. Put these all on next. Good thing we're only driving on the farm. We'd have to have a red flag on the back if we weren't. <laughs> Last one. And I do believe it's the longest. Let's find out. Oh, baby. Yep, it's the longest. Not by much, but it is. See where we want to start first. So, <clears throat> I want to try to get this, this done, and this done. Uh, we should undo the strap. Get that out of our way. There we go. Set our level over here. sink it now we'll go over to this side we have to pull this post in a smidge that sucked it all together nicely guys I like it
I like it. So we need 19200 and a 612 WP. or anything under there. did pick up some six inch long fasteners so where they do meet we put one if that makes sense all right here comes the longest four by four oh yep So right there is nice and flushed up. I like it. I can hold it there. Oh. Go a little bit off to the side so we don't hit the other lag. Nice. We can put some nails in there now. Go back to the other side and do that, but we gotta get that center one. I hit one of the other nails. Bummer. Get that after. There we go. Hope you guys can see the layout right there. Boom, she ain't going nowhere. 
I'll toenail that too. Get this stood up. More. Perfect. Now we need a 9600, which is right, probably this one too. Boom, I like it. It's nice and flush. Nice. I'm happy with that, guys. We made some good progress today. 
we got this pot all done. Tomorrow we can put up, boom, boom, and the front. We got everything down here that we're gonna need for that. Nice. You got the goat minerals? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if the pigs have gone out to the PPM yet. It doesn't sound like it. I just heard them rustling around in there. Yeah, it sounds like they're at the IBC tote. Come on, pigos. You still haven't made it out past here? Come on. We'll go this way then. Giving up some seaweed. Is that good, Hope? Last time we used Mana Pro goat minerals. This time we're gonna try the Redmond's goat minerals. Good. Oh, there's yep. a little cup in there. Oh, look at that. A little scoop a doop. Is that good, Blossom? You needed some of that. So it does, Buttercup. Where'd all the babies go? Over there, came in the wood pile. They're all out back without Mama? Wow. Yeah. Willow, your babies left you. They went on the other side. You kiddos playing over here without anybody else. You know where the fun's at, huh? I don't blame you. Oh, now they're gonna come out and see what's going on. Nope. You were? Yeah. Oh, I'm hoping for eight eggs today. Eight. Eight. I want eight. I don't know. Woo! I think we got more than eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. That's a funky textured one. Yes! It's, they're starting to come back. That top one towards you was funky oh, yeah, textured. Oh, yeah, weird. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's like there's like veins popping out or something. Want to hold the basket for a minute? Sure. Wanted to leave you guys with another good quote today that I found. Don't worry about failures. Worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. Man, that is a good one. We always worry about, oh, if we fail, if this or that, it's just another learning experience. If we never do it, we never have the chance to succeed or to learn. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.